One day, during a feast being held for him at Arber, Poith left the court and went to the top of a mound nearby, known as Gorsed Arber. It was said of this mound that whosoever sat upon it could not leave it without either receiving wounds or seeing a wonder. tells Poil that she came to Narberth because she sought to see him. She is Rhiannon, the daughter of Heveth Hain, and is promised to her husband against her will. She tells him that she'll have no other and that for loving him, nor will she have another unless he rejects her. For his own part, Poil thinks Rhiannon the most beautiful woman he has ever seen and is determined to marry her. It is agreed that he should seek her out a year from that time at the court of her father, Heveth Hain. welcome was given to Puich by heaven, and all the resources of the court were laid at his disposal. In the midst of the feasting, a tall and noble youth approaches, looking for Puich. I will not be seated, for I am a mere supplicant and I have an errand. Well, speak freely. Lord, it is with you that my errand lies, for I have come to ask you a favor. Whatever you ask, so long as it's in my power to grant, you shall have it. What kind of an answer is that? My lady, he has given his answer, and in the presence of nobles. Friend, what is your request? The woman whom best I love is to be thy bride tonight. It is to ask for her the preparations and the feast that I have come. Charge, damnity! Nilvi Gormoy, Miss Stephanie, son of Nagavir Teen. What have I done? Never has a man made worse use of his wits than you have done. This is the man they want to give me to. Well, lady, I didn't know who he was. He is Gwal, son of Cleed, a rich and powerful nobleman. Since you've given your word, you cannot go back on it. You must now give me to him, or dishonor will befall you. I can never bring myself to do what you say. Give me to him. And I shall see to it that he will never have me. <laughs> How can that be? I shall give you a little bag which you must keep with you. I shall set a date a year from tonight for him to sleep with me. <laughs> At that time, you must come to the court, dressed in rags, and bring the bag to beg for food. I shall see to it that even if all the food in the land be placed in this bag, it can never be filled. <laughs> My lord, it is high time I had an answer to my request. You shall have as much of your request as is in my power to grant. A year from tonight, in this court, a feast shall be prepared for you, my friend. And you shall sleep with me. So Gwaul departed well satisfied. Poist returned to Doved, bearing with him the little magic sack which Rhiannon had given him and prepared to repay Gwaul's cunning with some trickery of his own. Ah, friends, and your sack has been filled! <laughs> Between me and God, 
will not be filled unless a true nobleman should tread down the food in the sack and cry, enough is enough. <laughs> And so it was that the game Badger in the Bag was first played. 